Hello there, everybody. This is Donna Bells. Welcome back to more Let's Play Majora's Mask. And as you can see, I stopped here with no magic. Oh, no. But it's okay. I don't need that now. What I need to do is go check on those eggs that we delivered here last time because we got all seven. And yes, it is the ass crack of dawn, as you can see by the lighting. It's weird. Plus, the second day... The, like the second day's lighting is always weird too because it's the day that it rains everywhere. I don't know if it rains on the beach. That would be really cool if it did, but I don't know. All right, let's go check on these eggies. <gasps> They're undulating and <gasps> they popped. I, I guess they don't hatch. Uh, I don't know. Look, they're little spermies. Oh, so cute. Look at them. So I guess this means that Macau actually did uh, fertilize those eggs. Huh. Old man's freaking out. Look at this! What does this mean? What in the world could this mean? I've got it. Don't you understand the way these Zora children have lined up? It means... <gasps> dot, dot, dot. Well, I think this is really creative. Although, at first glance here right now, being my age, they look like little spermies, but <laughs> I think them lining up on a little music bar here. You know, with the bars in the tank and them looking like music notes, it's so cool. I love it. So that that only means that we've got a song to learn. So let's get out our ocarina. And in this case, I haven't even showed this to you before. Can I, okay, do I need to talk? Okay, when he says speak, he'll pull out our guitar. Hell yeah, it's so badass. I have not even showed this to you yet. So here we go, let's play it. Uh, I know, I totally just screwed up the rhythm of that song. Do, do, do. <laughs> but I can't hear the game sound right now because of reasons. Do, do, do. Aren't they so smart? They come out learning. They didn't even have to learn anything. They just have the instinct of music theory in their loins or their fins or whatever the hell they have. They're like... Eyes and fins, little bitty tadpoles. Yay, they're so happy. You learned the new wave, Bosa Nova. It's the melody taught by the Zora children that invigorates singing voices. Well, that's good because their mother is a singer, so. Oh, that, yes, it's that instrument. Hmm, if these Zoras were born to teach the song, then hurry. His voice keeps changing. I don't know why. I'm sorry. You must play the song for the Zora who laid these eggs. All right, well, I will. In fact, hi, babies. Hi, babies. Yeah, who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? I'm your daddy. I mean, kind of. I'm posing as your daddy. Ugh, that's, that's weird. Look at these fish. These fish don't have a daddy. Where's your parents? Huh? You look like crazy little... They look like animal. Like, um, from the Muppets, <laughs> but in fish form. Let's check on them. <laughs> Oh, that's a huge fish! Ugh. It reminds me of that clip that I put earlier in for the, <laughs> the fairy. That's a huge bitch! I bet this thing could eat a small fish in a single bite. Probably. Well, actually, we can do something with them. You know how uh, there's bars up there and we put the little eggs um, in the other tank through the bars? Well, we can put other things in the bars. And, oh, look! <laughs> the sun's about to rise. Very nice. It looks so much prettier right now than it did. Ooh, hello, what is that? That is actually where the temple is, everybody. People of the world, in case you did not know. Um, I'm, I'm guessing you have, if you have played this game. <laughs> but if you have not, that is where the temple lies. Dun, dun, dun. And I'm actually not going to go there next because I am late tired. Get away from me, levers. God, bouncing on me everywhere. Good lord. Tubs of lard is what they are. Oh my god! Oh, that's a lever. No, that no, that's not a lever. That's a that's a like like. I do not like like the like likes. That's for sure. They are scary as all hell. Is what they are. Ooh, get away from me, gelatinous monsters! Go on a diet. <laughs> They're like, screw that. I'm gonna eat you just for saying that. But uh, oh my gosh, I just totally lost my train of thought. Totally lost it. Speaking of losing your train of thought. Oh, me saying that I was tired. Yeah, I've been tired lately and I did not feel like practicing like 
a lot of this Zora stuff because I, although I love this area, it's just not my strong suit. The second half of the game anyway is because I just haven't played it as much. You know when you play a game over and over and you tend to play the first part of the game more? Yeah, that's how it is with this game. Now why the, the screen is shrinking, I'm going to go down there and kill myself a like like because they suck. Fuck you, Amazora! And I will kill you. And your babies. Okay, let me get down there. I think he's stunned. He should be. Boom. Boom, bitch! Give me my heart piece! Ah! Get away from me, fish! Ooh, give me some rupees, too. Da 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 da! We got a piece of heart with a very small screen. I can deal with that. But yeah, I'm just probably gonna get some heart pieces around here. Screwing around with Link here. Ooh, that sounds sexy. But it's not because uh, I don't mean it in the literal sense. That would be weird, especially since Link is a fish. <laughs> My Link is a fish. This is not good. Alright, screw Get up there, Link. Come on. Macau. I actually have something to do over here with beavers. But you know what? I'll do that now. Why not? Dawn of the second day. 48 hours remain. Oh my goodness, I've never seen the sun rise in this part of the game. Of course, during the day, the like likes are gone. Thank goodness, because I hate those bitches. Alright, so, um, what we have over here, as you see, get away from me. Get away from me. I don't like you. I don't like you. As you can see, there are some ledges here with some trees. Oh, I wonder if those will work with our new handy dandy hook shot. So let's let's equip this bitch. Ooh. And of course, we can. So we just make our way across these little ledges. Um, if you have a sharp eye, like me, mwahaha, not really. Um, you will notice that there is a treasure chest up here. You can tell from the uh, the map, the handy dandy map. Oh fuck! And then sometimes you do that. And screw everything up. Hooray! <laughs> the Donna Bell's way. Screw everything up, and eventually you'll get it right. Whatever. I don't need that shit. 20 rupees? What do I look like? A, a poor little starving boy? It's not It's not like I don't have a bank account and stuff with a tons of, tons of gold and money and riches like Harry Potter. As you can see, Navi is turning blue over there. You can actually activate the Scarecrow with the Scarecrow song, but I don't have time for that shit. I need to go see some beavers is what I need to do. Only time for beavers. And of course, here is another treasure chest full of more rupees. Mwahaha. <laughs> Even though I don't need it, it's always nice. Yes? Yes? Money's always good. Rupees. <laughs> oh. You know how I was talking about being distracted and Losing my train of thought. Well, I did that last time in the last video. Because I was talking about a dream that I had. And I said that I would mention it again. But I didn't. The thing is. Remember how I said in the in the first um, part where I was actually at the beach. That it always reminded me of a friend that I used to have. This boy. Of course. Always a boy. Look, beavers! Ah! The beavers are, are girls, of course. Duh. <laughs> Probably not. I don't know. I'm just... Talking out my ass here. Of course. But, yeah, my dream was about that boy. And when I woke up, I was like, that's weird. I haven't even thought about that boy since, um, like, recording that video a few weeks ago. And I think it's because I've been practicing and, um, uh, like, just let's playing this. And although I wasn't consciously thinking about him, I definitely subconsciously was because, you know, in your brain when you subconsciously think of something it shows up in your dreams later at night you know if you can actually remember them gonna go chase the beaver down there let's go get him but um i don't know i just thought that was interesting like you know when you associate a game or a book or an event or music i do like associate people with music all the time um but although you may not actually consciously think about them every single time you hear it or experience that one thing Chances are, subconsciously, you are thinking about them, so... I don't know, I just thought that was really interesting, because I hadn't really dreamed of him or thought of him or anything in a long time, so... Ah, that just... It's emotional to me. I miss him. 
you again! Uh, wait, I need to find a good beaver voice. Um... <laughs> a good nerdy beaver voice. You again! You can't fool me with your green clothes! You want an empty bottle, don't you? You never learn your lesson! Cool, cool, cool! Okay, I'll give you one. But... Only if you swim through all the rings in the river in under two minutes. So, do you want to try? <laughs> I think that voice is perfect. Oh my god! My poo is gonna die! Why does this happen to me every single fucking time? My charger is right next to the computer. Fuck you, pooter! Fuck you, fuck you too, beaver. Okay? Fuck, fuck the pooters and the beavers. <laughs> ah! Okay, I'm gonna try this. This is the only race I'm probably gonna fit into this uh, recording here. But... <laughs> this is a disaster, y'all. There's a total of 20 rings. You must swim through them in the right order. Oh, I'm not doing my beaver voice. I'll show you the way, so follow me and don't get separated. Okay. Catnip hair, whatever. With his swirly eyes. Let's go! I find it best to hit A as soon as you hit the water so you start swimming. Otherwise... I don't know, I, I seem to like screw myself up if I don't start swimming right away and I get far behind these guys. So, just follow the beaver! Follow your nose! Like Toucan Sam says, follow your nose to the beaver! <laughs> Inappropriate. Inappropriate. But that's how I like it. <laughs> Yay, rings! This part always reminds me of a certain event in my life too. Um. I remember this. I, every time I think of the beavers in this game, yeah, in this game, bleh, I think of this certain event, and I don't know. It just kind of—it's weird, you know. One of those things, that, you know. I just associate this game with a lot of things that happened in junior high when I, I was uh, first playing this game. I think it was like seventh grade, but I believe I was sick at the time when I first played this, the beaver part, and I went through those rings, you know, all the rings and got all the prizes and. All of the beavers, all of them. But, um, yeah, so I think I was in 7th or 8th grade, and I was sick with an upper respiratory infection, and my friend called me in the middle of this race, and I was like, my grandma was like, Donna, you have a phone call, and I was like, oh, wait a second, I just have to finish this race, just a few more seconds. And then when I got on the phone, I was like, no, I can't make it to the school dance with my friend, you know, because she really wanted me to go. And I was just like, yeah, I don't really want to go. I think it was around Valentine's Day, and I didn't have, like, a boyfriend or anything. And I was just like, yeah, I don't want to waddle with the rest of the penguins out on the dance floor. I mean, that's what they look like anyway. So I remember thinking, like, uh, I just would rather sit here and play Majora's Mask, even though I'm sick, than go to a school function like a dance. I think that's when I started to realize that I really loved video games and they were a huge part of who I was even if I was alone like playing them I just I was having fun and I loved them so that's kind of like a, a little mini realization in my life at that time but beavers beavers you mean so much to me and you helped me um realize this <laughs> in my life that I'm an antisocial little nerd is what you helped me with which is why I give them nerd voices so we won against the little brother beaver I guess they are brothers, but, um, <laughs> I want to race this one, but whatever, fuck it. I'll just do it in this video. I don't care. Screwing around with the beavers and Linky Poo is all good. Now, as I said, hit A as soon as you hit the water, and it helps so much. Yes. Of course, the water is a lot more clearer now, I think, because it's later in the day. Whee! If you're not good at swimming as Macau, then this might be a little bit difficult. Hell, even I screw this up every once in a while. It's no good. Like, I'll just bump into, a, like, the ring or just totally miss it. And I'm like, really? Really, Donna? You, I should be experienced by now because I've been playing. <laughs> I've been playing this game since I was 13, 14. Ah, oh, shit. Almost bumped Macau's head. Giving him concussions and shit. <laughs> that would not be good. Okay, Beaver. I will get you. It, the truth is, you actually have to race these beavers a lot in this game. Especially if you want to get all the prizes. Because first, you have to race the little brother, then the big brother. And the first prize you get is, well, you'll see in a second. 
Although they just talked about it, so it's not really a big surprise. Um, oh, look at me, wee! Lighting up the rings, wee! In celebration of each ring, wee! Am I losing magic because I have very little magic as it is? But then you have to race them two more times to get even another prize. Oh my god, I almost didn't make it through the ring. That would not have been good. But th I'll probably just cut those out because you don't need to see this a, a million times. No, you don't. And we're in the beaver home! The beaver cave, if you will. He did it, little brother. Yeah, he did it, big brother. There's nothing we can do, little brother. <laughs> <laughs> this is a mess, big brother. <laughs> ah, we got the bottle, and you can see his swirly, uh, whatever that is, his belly button, belt, uh, something. I don't even know. I like to think it's a belly button. We underestimated you. Ah. That's right, you underestimated me, bitches. Beavery bitches. All right, guys, I think that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Next time I will go get the other special prize. And look at all these bottles. Bottles for days. Hell yeah. Think of all the little seahorses and Deku princesses we can pick up. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye, love you.